Chaz is holding the camera. I told you I was going to show you how I make my dressing. This does not mean that this is how y'all supposed to make it. This is just how we make it. Hey, I'm missing one ingredient, which is red bell peppers. And I'm mad that I didn't get it. And I don't feel like going to the store. But I advise y'all to have the red bell peppers. And it's really the flavor, but it's really for the color. So come look at the peppers. So I have onion, yellow bell peppers, and green bell peppers, and celery in here. And I wish I would have got the red because, as you can see, there's a lot of green in here. Also, I have fresh rosemary, basil, and thyme. Is it? Is it basil? No. I have fresh. You can put it on here. I have fresh. Or didn't put it on me. <laughs> I have fresh rosemary, thyme, and. Bro, I just forgot it all over again. Thyme. And sage. Rosemary, sage, and thyme. So. You're just gonna saute all this. Yes, it's a lot, but come over here. You don't have to get me in that. Yes, it's a lot, but I don't think I'm gonna use all of this. I just wanted to go ahead and cook all of it just in case I do need it. And then we have some chicken breasts right here. I use chicken breasts just because that's what I had on hand that was easy to cook and boil. Chaz is gonna, uh, I'm gonna take the camera and Chaz is actually gonna shred these and we're gonna put it in the bowl. But I'm gonna take the camera over. So go ahead, babe. And look, yes, we have a Thanksgiving. Here's the green. Yeah, yo. They extra green. Okay, so he's going to take this pot. We're going to go over there. So here is our messy table. But here's the homemade cornbread. I did not record that just because you guys can just look up any easy cornbread mix or online. It's just cornmeal, flour, eggs, oil, and I can't think of all of the, but it's just regular cornbread. Here's the chicken. And we're going to put it in this bowl. So, yeah. Okay, so here's the bowl. I already, bought, I almost didn't record this, guys. But here's my cornbread. It's day-old cornbread. Look how perfect it came out. And I'm just going to put it in the bowl. I'm also going to make some toast and put it in here as well. And a little bit of breadcrumbs. Yeah, I finally got to use my cast iron skillet. Oh, babe, look how good it came out. It didn't yeah. even stick. Good job. Yeah. And day oat cornbread, I recommend, if you cannot make day oat cornbread and you have to make it the same day, cook it a little longer than what you really do just to get it as dry as you possibly can. Not burnt and old and nasty, but dry. Like, this is dry. Because you're going to have all the flavors back on there. And yes, I want all my crumbs. Don't judge me. Guys, it smells so good. And here's the packet right here. It says poultry blend, but this is going in our freaking dressing. It's Dang. rosemary, sage, and thyme. Dang. And it's fresh. It smells like when you open this, it smells just like Thanksgiving. Yes. Alright, I got the chicken shred. Okay, pour almost all of the chicken in here. Chaz is gonna do that and I'll be back, guys. Thing. Thing. And don't worry, this will all uh, come together once I start adding the liquid in here. Huh? I don't know, just put some in the bowl. Best judgment. Alright, so there's our green. Again, guys, I do recommend adding red bell peppers. I don't know why I didn't just go ahead and get it. It makes the color pop out in the dressing. And of course the flavor, but it really is for the color.
it's gonna be okay today. So I got Swanson's chicken broth. I got less sodium just because I don't want it too salty. All right. All right, you see how it's thick? Because I had to actually let this sit because I had ran out of storage and I started cleaning some other stuff. Also, you can also add beef broth to this. It's not going to change the taste. It actually adds more favor, flavor. You can actually do opposite tastes. So with beef, you can add chicken. With chicken, you can add beef. But I have chicken right now. I don't feel like looking for the beef broth. But you want this into a certain consistency. Now look, this is too thick, so I'm still gonna add more. And don't add too much, because if you add too much, then you may have to add some more breadcrumbs. Oh, babe, can you get the breadcrumbs out for me? Top shelf, the big container, the big, uh, you know what I mean. You want it kind of like liquided or creamy, should I say. Like we almost to that consistency. And we're also going to add some Italian breadcrumbs right here. Chad's going to add some in while I'm doing it. I just want the extra taste. A little bit more, you being stingy. Okay, thank you, babe. That's just to really pump up the flavor in this. This is why I said make sure you taste it because once you have the egg, you cannot taste it no more. Just cut them on something. Cut them on a long movie. All right, here goes nothing. What is it? It's music church up, but I don't know the song. All right, now you gotta make sure you mix this up really good so the egg can get everywhere. This is gonna keep your dressing together. Make sure you get the edges too, because that's where all the, uh, since it's already all in here, all this um, eggs is going to the edges. Oh my gosh, she said you gotta slay them edges. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, please add red pepper to this, red bell peppers, unless you just don't like it. I'm irritated that I didn't add it in here. I didn't buy it. I forgot. But I'm, I'm regretting it because it looks so pretty. It brings out that green. And stir this up good because you don't want to see egg pieces. Like he said, slay them edges. Bring them edges in. Get them corners. All right, so this is mixed up really good, and I'm just gonna keep it on the oven for 350. And next, I'm about to start on the macaroni and cheese, and that's just common sense. But I'll just let y'all see it. It's just you know some macaroni, and some cheese, some milk and eggs, and um, some pepper. But I'll show you how I do it. I'm just still doing it because I want to make sure. Can't be too careful or too. Uh, yeah, you can't be too careful. All right. So that is actually going, I'll shake it out, even it out. That is how your dressing needs to look before it goes in the oven. But can you move those baked beans? Yeah. I'm so mad that my phone finally stopped working to where I can record. It is not even daylight anymore, it's nighttime. And 
It didn't even get the rest of the dressing video, but I did get the ingredients, guys. But I'll show you the dressing we've already ate, of course. So here's the dressing. As you can see, it's still very moist. It's very moist. It was not dry whatsoever. Look at that. Herbs still in here. But I just wanted y'all to see the final product. So y'all like, oh my gosh, that's all we got to see. I just want to thank all of JL family. You guys are the best. And happy Thanksgiving to all of you guys. I wanted to vlog, but my phone just kept messing up. So that wasn't happening. But if you guys enjoyed this little dressing recipe, give this video a thumbs up. I will do a better one next time. But give this video a thumbs up. If you are new to this channel and haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. And I'm going to be out for the rest of the day off of vlogging wise. I may pop up on YouTube, but I'm tired now. So no channel left behind, guys. Let's keep pushing it. And bye, JL Film.